What's up TF reviewers? I am Moose for the win and we are back with another Transformers review. Today we're looking at the comic edition Decepticon Straxus. This is a character that I've been waiting a long time for. He's a very obscure character. He was only in a few comics. He's not very popular in the lore. You kind of have to know about him to know about him. But I've known about him and I've been waiting for this character to been made in this exact version for a long time. Uh, he comes in this beautiful packaging. It shows his first appearance, comic artwork. Oh no, man down! Here he is fighting Blaster. Here's some of his famous comic panels. His alt mode does kind of look like a retool of Galvatron, which is appropriate because that's what they ended up using. It's just the Kingdom Galvatron mold, but it ends up looking identical anyway. It, it's amazing how that worked out. I don't know if they planned for Galvatron and Straxus to be so close together, but, you know, happy accident. Some more panels. Here's a mural on this side of the box. If you collect the rest of the comic edition line, they all form a connected image, which I think is just great. And it's got this very strong Velcro window with some lore on the inside. I usually don't keep the boxes, but this one I'd make an exception for. This is great. Just the box itself is going on my shelf. Size-wise, he is very large. He is a retool of Galvatron. Here he is next to Earthrise Optimus Prime. He's very tall. And then just because I had to, here he is next to his arch rival, Blaster. Like in the comics, he is considerably taller. He just looks so good up against him. Normally the comic paint job that they do kind of separates them aesthetically from the rest of the main lines, but it's so subtle on Straxus and it is just so seamless on him that it works. Like I, I don't think Hasbro needs to make a different version of him. This is perfect in my eyes, I love him. The only gripe, the only gripe I have about his look is he doesn't have his thigh triangles. Oh well, whatever. You know what I mean? Minor gripes, if that. Weapons, you got your his famous axe and the hairdryer of doom. Weapon storage, you can put them both on the back. You can just put the hair dryer on his back, have him like a good old Rocketeer jetpack. Or you can move this panel up a bit. Get that out of the way. Make room for the axe. It works. Either one works really well. Transformation, basically the same as Galvatron. Move the arms, peg them into here. You're going to take this peg and put it in here. Get that a little bit out of the way. That's done. Collapse the feet. Take this panel, bring it around, revealing the mechanisms. Then you're going to rotate the legs. Connect them together. And then you're going to bring this out and down. Now there's little plastic tabs connected to the knee here that make the this is all the further it goes down with Galvatron, it will go completely like flush. But with this one, this is all the further down it goes, and you'll see why when it's done transforming, because that's all the more farther it needs to go. Bring these panels up and around. That one there. Let's have all of this. Disconnect all of that. Cordy in there, snap that there. Move the legs up. So, bring all of this together. And 
take this peg here. And then this will peg into here. You can see there's a little tab there that'll peg into the chest plate. It's a little finicky when you're doing it, but once it's all pegged together, it's very sturdy. Then the torso plates, you'll rotate here. And then you'll attach the hairdryer of doom. And then the actual axe, you'll bring up like that for wings. Peg that there. And there you have Straxus in his flying cannon of doom. Very Cybertronian weapon placement. You see how it, with how low hanging the wrist supports were, and how far back the legs went. There are wheels on the bottom. It doesn't really need to roll. But it's cool that it does. Here he is next to leader class Galvatron. Very similar, not a whole lot of paint applications, but that's because they wanted it to be comic accurate more so than just look like a robot. Um, it's really hard to get both of them in the same frame. Straxus, for how he transforms, is a little longer, but he, Galvatron's slightly taller but mass-wise, they're both the same. But I am very satisfied with this figure. I've been waiting a long time for him. The paint job is great. The colors are on point. And yeah, if you get a chance to get them, highly recommend. And that is Comic Edition Straxus.